Hey Leo, what's going on? Everybody put your paws up top for me. Welcome to your season, Leo. This is the Mystic Leo. My name is Isa. I'm a very proud Leo and welcome to my channel. We're taking a look at the energy for the week. So this could be messages you need to hear, things you need to look out for, warnings. It could be a heads up. It could be predictions. It could be anything, okay? So we just take a look at the energy for the week. So take what resonates for you, Leo. Leave what doesn't. If nothing resonates in your sun sign, check your moon rising and your Venus. I have another channel that's linked down below in the description box or check out my older Leo readings, okay? Um, what else was I gonna say? I am still raising money. My daughter just had a major surgery. For those of you who are new around here, I'm still raising money to help my daughter out with her medical bills and all the other stuff. She does have a second surgery that's coming up on August 11th, I believe it is. So um, we're still doing that and that's linked down below too. All right, guys, and last but not least, if this does resonate for you, please make sure you help your girl out. Give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that top notification bell and it will notify you every time I'm going live and I'm uploading, okay? I want you to come back and see me. Some tram. All right. All right, what's going on with Leo this week? Give me the energy for the week. Any messages Leo needs, please? What's coming Leo's way? Ooh, listen, some of y'all are getting a bonus from work, okay? We have the toil and labor with the sudden wealth. Some of you may be getting a bonus. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with a worker's compensation thing and um, like you're getting a payout, okay? Or maybe you have a suit going on that's gonna go your way. You're finding out that you're gonna win it. All right, what else? What else for Leo? Happy birthday to all my Leos who have a birthday today, okay? You could have some family issues. This came out in reverse, or you could have some issues that are going on with your house. Hold on, let me tap in. Madam Matilda, I don't know. What's my other personality? What should she be named? <laughs> what should my psychic entity be named? My psychic personality? What should we call her? Madam... Esmeralda. Okay, we'll call her Esmeralda for now. All right, Madam Esmeralda. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm getting something about your basement and your, what do you call it? Your heaters, your water heaters and or your washing machines, something like that. You're replacing them or there's something up with them. It could be like a furnace, furnace too or something like that. Okay, my loves. Like something's upside down in the house. Yeah, and we have great fortune coming twice, all right? So there's some sort of, like somebody could be blessing you or the universe is just blessing you with some money this week, all right, my loves? But I feel like some of y'all are getting the bonus on the job or you're getting like surprise money, okay? I like that. Okay. Some of you have some factors of like your spirituality or your religion that are affecting your relationships right now. Okay, because so that could be an energy this week. Maybe it's the what somebody believes and stuff. You know, sometimes people's beliefs are so strong that they're willing to like fuck up relationships over it, right? All right, cool. Let go of control issues. You may have somebody who's trying to control you and you have deception. And I feel like this is somebody trying to control the environment you're in, whether this is a romantic relationship for you or this be a work situation, okay? Um, there could be somebody who's, I feel like, manipulating you or trying to control you somehow. This person isn't what you think they are. They could even be a friend, okay? Uh, your job is to just let things unfold naturally. So if you've been like, I don't know if this is happening, I wouldn't confront this person. I would watch to see maybe. I feel like that's kind of the message. Watch to see what happens because it's going to be shown to you. All right, my loves. Okay, what else is coming Leo's way? Yeah, look, the freaking two face friend just came out. Are you for real? Are you for real? Okay, like I said... There's somebody out there, not who you think they are. They are not who you think they are. They are definitely in disguise. Okay, 
listen, you got the rainbow. So if you guys have been having a hard time, this, this is the part of the journey that's over, okay? You're seeing the rainbow. You're seeing the blessing in, in what felt like a curse. And you have the bat. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Yo, what is this? What is this this week? All right, guys. Damn. The hell? I feel like you're getting the lots being revealed to you about people that have been keeping space around you. All right, my loves. Did I say happy birthday to all the Leos today? Happy birthday, my loves. Sometimes I think I complete a sentence, but I'm not sure if I do. It's my neurodivergency. Okay, my ADHD. All right, what do we got? What else do we got for Leo, please? Okay, cool. Someone is trying to make you do something against your will. Okay, so watch out for that this week if somebody's trying to make you do something like on the job or, you know, trying to control you, as I said before. All right, Leo, we have the haystack karma reaping what you sow. I feel like that's not for you. That's for somebody in your space. Um, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Like I said before, there may be somebody here you shouldn't confront. You should just sort of let that situation play out, maybe die off. Like, I don't know. I don't think it's a person you want to get in their face. Okay, that's the vibe it's giving. What else? News. Good news is on the way. I'm going to see what type of news. Okay. Yes, time for some of you to get out of a situation. It is dusty. It is dirty. It is over. Okay, so it might be a job. It could be uh, a friend situation for some of you. Okay, there's uh, looks like some exciting stuff happening for you this week when it comes to your career. All right, so for some of you, it could be a move out of your career um, that you're cur currently in and into something else. Okay into something else you know what i'm not gonna use those i'm gonna use these tell me about this news what's this good news on the way this week for my leos what's the good news on the way for leo please Okay, so there's a new opportunity opening up for you. Some of you may be traveling, okay? Um, if you do something that like, let's say you, um, you own a business or you do something online, I feel like there's a lot of success this week. You're achieving something. You're getting through some obstacles and I feel like there's good news for you about uh, a door opening where you thought one was closed. All right, my loves. Give me more about this good news for Leo. What is it? Good news for Leo, please. What is it? Yeah, things are not as they appear. The moon, cancer energy. You could be dealing with a cancer. I kind of call this Pisces too. Um, so I feel like you're finding out about somebody here you're 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 finding out the good bad and ugly about somebody here okay you're somebody is totally two-faced somebody is deceiving you you're finding out about a big deception okay you're finding out about a big deception this week i don't really dig that you know what i'm saying that's the that's weird okay let's let's move into the tarot portion here all right my loves Let's see. Give me an overall energy, please, for Leo this week. What else? Money, love, career. Talk to me about money, love, career. Okay, you could have some new ideas. A lot of clarity coming through. We have clarity and we have mental clarity with the Ace of Wands. Or, sorry, the Ace of Swords here. Your intuition is going to be heightened. You may have some... Um, like, I feel like you might be making plans to do something. Um, what did I get ghost for? I got ghost hunting or something weird like that. I don't know. Are you guys trying to be like ghost detectives or I don't know. It's bizarre. Anyway, um, I feel like you could be just having a breakthrough in like your mental clarity this week, uh, heightened intuition, really trusting yourself because I think that a lot of things are going to be revealed to you this week, all right? You could be having like a, an epiphany. What else for Leo? Mm hmm. Okay, so um, there's some new patterns. I feel like some of you are starting here. It's definitely learning something new with the... Um, 
page of swords. This could be about studying things, learning new things. You have a lot of, this is really weird guys. So I'm just going to keep it a hundred. There's a lot of debt, karmic debt being cleared out this week for you. I don't know if like it's your karmic debt or if it's somebody else. I'm going to see here. But these are really interesting cards. I feel like you're rejecting something or somebody here. Um, and this is like this person. I know it sounds weird. It's kind of like them getting their karma. I get the sense that somebody, you know, is feeling it. Okay. Somebody feels the loss of you. Um, but it almost feels like. It, it, they, I feel like somebody wants a second chance with you. Okay, hold on. Let me get my shit together. I feel like somebody wants a second chance with you. They're watching you. They're thinking about it. They don't know how to approach you. Um, at some point in the summer, since we have the summer card that came out, it feels like you may have broken up with this person, but this person is still sort of pining over this with the five of cups. Okay, the five of pentacles. They feel like you, they, you turned your... It's the five of pentacles. They feel like you turned your back on them. And this is sort of like a way they're receiving karma, okay? Um, some of you have debt and I feel like you're restricted this week in what you do because you're trying to pay off a debt, all right? This person is very scared. Um, they're really out of their comfort zone because I feel like this person may be used to like you going out of your way for them and you loving them, okay? And they don't know what to do right now to try to get you back. They're very scared and overthinking themselves into oblivion over the connection here. They don't know what to do. They feel like... I think that they're starting to realize that they needed you more than they thought they did. Um, and that they have a really strong inner belief system about their own self that it's sort of like the reason that the one thing that attracted you was the confidence, but deep down this person was never really that person. I think they're starting to understand that now and that they need to work on that. And that is the thing that's going to potentially attract you back to them. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So I have somebody here that wants to get back with you. Okay. They want to do the work. I feel like they're silently just sort of watching you and figuring things out for themselves. Okay. They just don't really know how to approach this. What else? Clarify this for me, please. Okay, I feel like they're going to take small steps toward you. Um, they know that they have to leave behind their ego, okay? Like they need to check their ego at the door because that's a problem. It's like, oh, how do I want to say? Um... It's weird because I get the sense that this is an incredibly, like, they show up very, like, strong and confident, but this is a really weak person deep, deep down, whoever this is, whether it's a romantic partnership or this is a friendship. Um, this person really feels like will of fortune, like you're a part of their destiny. They may have even gotten a reading about you, okay? They might have seen somebody, like, to get clear about... Um, like if they can get you back, I feel like if they are watching readings or they went to a reader or something, somebody told them it's just a matter of time before you can get your Leo back or something like that. Um, but they, but they were told that they need to like let you go for whatever reason that you'll be back. Okay. And, and then to make baby steps toward you. Somebody really wants you back in their life for sure. They really want you back in their life. I don't get any weirdness off of this one. I know we had one the other day where I was like somebody was just being like aggressively weird. This isn't that. This is somebody who wants to work at this. Okay. And I feel like they could have some like mental health issues here. Okay. 
You may have a child with this person. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus, an Aries here. Okay, they want a second chance. They, they want to try this again. They want to take a leap of faith with you. Okay, Leo. Yeah. Okay, this person is very scared. Um, it may be that, you know, they don't know what to say. You're not talking to them for whatever reason. Um, right now, I feel like this person, tell me what's going on with this person right now. What are they doing while separated from Leo, if they're separated from Leo? Hmm. They're trying to figure out how they can come forward, express their feelings, proposing to you, something like that, okay? Leo, you need more rest. You have abundance coming in through here, okay? And I feel like you have some expansion happening. There's definitely something you're learning, okay? This is a week of planning things. This is a week of communicating with other people, learning things from other people. Um, this is traveling happening here or planning traveling. Okay. Some of you are moving. Uh, I want to say you're moving abroad or you're moving like over a body of water. Okay. That literally can mean like you're moving to a, like a lake area somewhere near water is what I'm getting or across the water. Like maybe you live on Lake Erie and you move into the other side. You get what I'm saying here? Okay. Some of you, um, you have money coming through here. This is also um, investments. Your money may be looking better for some of you this week, but others of you I had being in a bad financial position and paying off a debt because like you're in that position because you're committed to paying off a debt right now, okay? So there is a new beginning here when it comes to your finances. It could be somebody paying you off or owing you money or just a brand new financial opportunity. So I do see a lot of good things coming in here while there's a lot of weird shit. Um, but this person, okay, so this person who would like to be with you might feel like they're only going to get with you if they're giving you stuff. Okay, so their love language may be like gift giving or something like that. Um, or they think in their mind Taurus energy strong here they think in their mind that the only way they can win you is by like giving you stuff okay so it like what's missing for me is the part where they get to intuitively get in touch and I think they're trying to do that but I think this person at the same time is trying to heal emotionally because there's a lot of mental stuff going on with this person there's a lot of emotional stuff going on with this person um, and but they still have this strong belief that they can't get through to you so they might try like sending little gifts or trying little tiny ways to try to like get back into your life if that makes sense okay they want you they still want you i don't know whether you want this person or not my loves but you know it it is what it is i'm just reading what i'm seeing here okay babies all right tell me more about leo this week please with this relationship yeah, healthy choices, date, sword in the rose. So um, some of you may actually have a date this week if you're single. We have a talk, clarity, and truth. A lot of that happening this week. A lot of truth coming out for you guys. Um, and making healthy choices, uh, taking care of yourself and your, um, your care care of your body mind and spirit let me get us let me get one of these cards the self-care cards out for you guys since that came up anything else for leo about self-care this week please anything else for leo about self-care anything else there it is sweet treats some of you could be baking this week or you need to just have a little sweet treat for yourself treat yourself to something good especially if you've been eating really really well I feel like I see you dining out and getting like um, cream puffs or something weird like that. And we have chanting. Some of you might be oming and chanting, going to yoga classes, um, going to meditation, or that might be a good option for you this week to try out, okay? All right. Anything else for Leo? Hey, Saj. 
How was your dinner? She's over here licking herself clean. Gratitude. This is a week of having um, friends around and feeling really grateful. I feel like you're really supported. Um, and I feel like if you have a lot of really good ideas and like things that you want to do and bring forward, you have a lot of people here to really support you. Okay. What else? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to say this. Somebody, okay, so somebody really wants to be with you. They don't know what to do, okay? I feel like they're really trying to shift your perception of what you think of them. That's very, very important to this person, and they're kind of broken up about it, okay? Um, we have the bittersweet, so I don't know if you're going to be in a situation this week where something feels like, it's a bittersweet conversation. It's a, you know, like a bittersweet ending or something like that. But it, it feels like it could be rotating around this person or the person that you might find out is a straight up bull face enemy. Okay. Behind your back, been doing all sorts of shit. I almost feel like this person could have been talking to your person at some point or trying to, whoever that was. All right, it doesn't have to be because for a lot of you, I feel like this is somebody on your job who is menacing you behind your back all right, as a means to like get you out of the way. OK, like that energy we had in the beginning. All right, guys. So that's what I'm having for you. Thank you so much for being here, my loves. I really appreciate it. If this did resonate for you, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, babies.